All right, do this color wheel. You're going to go into Project 3 color wheel, and you're going to go to that one that says photos.psd, and you're just going to download that. Don't try to just open it, because um, unless you've got Photoshop on your laptop, it's not going to work if you're trying to do this at home. So we're going to go into Photopea now and just open this document. So open from computer and it should be hanging out right in your downloads folder. All right, so it should look like this. Um, it's just a color wheel with a full range of dark to light as well. So what we're gonna be doing is finding images that go on here, images that are your interests that work on here. And all I did was just copy that image and paste it. So I just right clicked on it, I said copy image, and then I just did control V to paste. But you'll notice that it looked like this should have a transparent background, and then it didn't. Well, what I'm going to try to do right now is use the magic wand tool, which is right over there on the left, and click on the background to try to get rid of it. Right now, the magic wand tool is set to contiguous, meaning anywhere I click, it's going to select similar colored pixels. Um, and the problem here, as you just saw, is I clicked on Patrick's background, and it also deleted his eyebrow and some of his black lines. So. Um, not ideal, but here's the nice thing. I'm in Firefox right now. If I go and do that exact same thing I just did, but in Chrome, and I do it on this project here, Patrick will in fact come in without that background like he should have, and many of the pictures that you see here already had their backgrounds removed. So watch as I do it this time, I did copy image and come back here, control V, notice that the background actually stayed off that time. So yes, doing this project in Google Chrome is ideal because uh, Firefox does not save um, if it has a transparent background, so just keep that in mind. I'm reordering these layers by holding Control and using the brackets, uh, which are next to the letter P. And so the left bracket makes things go down, right bracket makes things go up. Alright, now here's a picture that has a white background. Again, I'm just going to use the magic wand tool and click on the background, but notice that if I hit backspace, his, like, toes are going to delete. I don't really care, though. I'm just going to do Control D, because the thing is, I'm going to shrink him enough that we're not even going to see his feet anyway, so I don't really care about the fact that it deleted that. Alright, so once again, I'm going to reorder that by doing Control and then the left bracket to get him to go behind all this other stuff and moving him into that green area, because he's green. Alright, so, so far these have been pretty simple things um, as far as removing backgrounds. Let's get a little bit more complicated. So this looks like it should have a transparent background, right? Well, when I go and paste this in here, it's what we refer to as a fake PNG. But I got that magic wand tool tolerance set really, really high, so I click on that background and it just knocked out all those pixels anyway. Sometimes you don't get that lucky. Sometimes you might have to go in there and manually erase uh, the background for a picture like that, which is what I'm just about to have to do with my next example. Right now I'm just trying to figure out where old Mega Man here is best going to be placed and shoving him behind a bunch of stuff because he's a little bit brighter and darker in some places than I want. Now this, obviously, to get rid of the background, on this picture is going to be a bit more complicated um, because she has like all these colors behind her. So what I'm doing is I have the magic wand tool out but I'm holding shift as I click on multiple areas and it's allowing me to select multiple colors all at once. But if you see here, it's selecting too much. It's grabbing pieces of her hair and pieces of like her crown. Um, so I just did control Z to get rid of those and then I just hit delete. Now, this left behind a bunch of stuff, so what I'm going to do now is get my eraser and just go in here and manually clean up these edges. Now, I'm going to be doing a pretty sloppy job here, and I'm going to fast forward this in just a second here, um, because this gets pretty tedious and pretty boring pretty quickly. Um, one thing you'll see me doing constantly is resizing the eraser. I'm using the brackets to do that. Again, just plain brackets, no holding down control or anything. Um, and there we go, and I did Control D again to deselect, resizing her and moving her behind some of these other things. Uh, did not really want Piplup to be on her face, so let's scooch him over. Alright, so this is what you're doing with this. You're finding pictures of some of your favorite things, you're putting them on this color wheel and filling it up as much as you can. One of the more satisfying things you can do is turn off that background layer and put a black layer behind everything and see what you've got so far. Um, show me what you got for this.